This is a 2010 MacBook Pro. Yeah, I know it's old, but with a few upgrades, how was it in 2017? To kick things off, this MacBook originally comes equipped with an Intel Core 2 Duo, 4 gigs of RAM, an NVIDIA GPU, a 250 gigabyte hard drive, and a 63.5 watt hour battery. These specs may seem a bit underwhelming, but they were pretty good for the price back in 2010. Moving on to the ports, this laptop has a MagSafe charging port, an Ethernet port, and a FireWire port a mini display port, two USB 2.0 ports, and an SD card slot without the need of a dongle. Back in 2010, Apple included a headphone jack, something you won't be seeing on the iPhone 7. A feature that I personally like is a battery indicator on the side. It's an old feature, but I find it easier than having to open up my computer. Opening the laptop, you are greeted by the 13-inch glossy display that has a resolution of 1280 by 800 pixels, which is about the same for most of today's budget laptops. Above the screen is an iSight camera. If you're in good lighting, the camera is acceptable, but when light vanishes, it's almost unusable. One thing I really enjoy about this laptop is the outstanding keyboard. Typing is wonderful, I really like the key travel and tactile feel. This keyboard also has backlighting, which is good if you often type at night. The Magic Trackpad is also great. Clicking has nice feedback, and there isn't too much resistance when sliding your finger across. Performing gestures is very simple. Rarely does it ever miss any of my inputs. Before upgrading, I decided to run a few benchmarks for comparison. Booting up the device took around 45 seconds, which was pretty slow. The original hard drive speeds weren't very impressive. Here are the results that I got. As you can see, both the read and write speeds are pretty poor, especially the write speeds. I also decided to run Geekbench 3. The results were pretty much what I expected from a Core 2 Duo. For the modifications, I decided to use a Samsung 850 EVO SSD due to its fast read slash write speeds. For the RAM, I purchased 8 gigs of DDR3 1066 megahertz RAM. The upgrade process was fairly simple. After unscrewing the back cover, all of the internals are revealed. If you're planning to do this yourself, which I highly recommend, you should unplug the battery before continuing. After unplugging the battery, unclip the RAM sticks and pull them out. Then, insert the new ones, making sure the notches line up inside. Once that's completed, you can start on the hard drive. First, you want to unscrew and remove the top bracket. After that's out of the way, lift the hard drive up and carefully slide the SATA cable out, making sure not to tear it or damage it in any way. Once the hard drive is out, transfer the screws that are on the old one to the new hard drive. Next, plug the SATA cable into your new hard drive and put it back into its cage. After screwing and plugging everything back in, including the battery, you're all done. Simple as that. My last addition was adding a slick wrap skin to give my computer more personality. And to cover up the scratches and dents. After completing the installations, the SSD makes a huge difference. This laptop is blazing fast compared to what it was before. The original boot time is laughably slow compared to the new SSD. I got around 15 seconds boot time compared to the 45. Also, I decided to rerun the disk benchmark. As you can see, adding the SSD greatly improves the read and write speeds. However, the laptop only has SATA 2 instead of SATA 3, so this is probably why it isn't performing as well as it should. By upgrading to an SSD, your laptop will boot faster and programs will respond faster. The upgrade process is also easy, as long as you follow the instructions. In the end, upgrading your older MacBook Pro makes it way faster than ever before. I think it's definitely worth the cost compared to buying one of the new MacBooks. I'm looking at you, 2016 MacBook Pro.
Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, feel free to subscribe, and also, if you found it helpful, give it a like. Anyways, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more videos in the future.